Welcome to a new video. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. My name is Kat. I make videos on helping you clear acne holistically, naturally, um, like what we're going to be discussing today. So off the jump, I want to show you the before and after results. I saw three days within getting a lymphatic massage. These are real results, okay? No makeup on, no filter, no face tune. I even time stamped it so you can follow the progression of it. So as you can see, I got the massage on September 5th. Later on that night, I snapped some some photos of my breakouts on my right side and my left side I didn't take any pictures the next day where I didn't have makeup on except for this one where I am tanning however when day three came my skin was noticeably clear I also wasn't getting any new breakouts and a few days after that I continued to see results my skin continued to clear up so why does this work so well for clearing up your skin? I'm going to briefly discuss the magic of the lymph nodes. I'm not going to spend too much on it because I do have previous videos on this topic. I'm also going to show you some techniques you can do at home, massages for your face and body so you can get rid of a lot of that build up fluid in your lymph nodes. Um, because you know what, getting it professionally done every week, right, even every two weeks can get a little pricey, okay? And you wanna make sure you're doing it consistently so you can see results. So make sure you stay tuned to the end for that. So if you've never heard of a lymphatic massage, it pretty much consists of a lot of rubbing up and down, side by side, stretching out the skin in a gentle way, especially around where the lymph nodes are located. So I'm gonna insert a photo right here so you can see in the upper part of the body like where your face is they are concentrated behind the ear in the neck area um, and they also go like in the outside perimeter of your body that's where you can most likely find the lymph nodes a lot of people get a lymphatic massage done whenever they feel swollen or congested and even as a post-operative treatment so if you just had surgery they say it's really good to do this because it helps you heal quicker and it helps lower the inflammation in the body going back to my results here's a little backstory of when i got the lymphatic massage so if you follow me on instagram you probably already heard the story but i went on a girl's trip in september um and a few days before the trip i started just breaking out just like every day i would get a new breakout um and it was so discouraging um especially because right before vacation or when you're on vacation the last thing you want to worry about is like breakouts you know what i'm saying like you just want to relax and be carefree i was also pretty nervous that the sun was going to make my breakouts worse so the whole trip i literally just wore huge ass hats to cover my skin i put so much spf on just in case and to be honest with you the hats were kind of making me feel a little bit better um, when it comes to being social because not only was it hiding the sun but it was also hiding a little bit of my face because I was kind of embarrassed about it we're gonna talk about self-acceptance in another video I know guys I know anyways so a few days into the trip we had a few ladies come to our Airbnb for massages um, and the lady that ended up giving me my massage she more than anything she was giving me like not a standard massage where you kind of release that tension it was more of a lymphatic massage like i mentioned to you guys earlier a lot of rubbing up and down side by side especially where my lymph nodes are located and in the beginning i was kind of like oh i really wish she was taking out the tension and i told her a few times but you know she just kept doing what she was going to be doing um and in the end it kind of worked to my advantage because as you saw my skin just kept getting so much clearer since that moment on and i feel like that is the magic of the lymph nodes it really flushes everything out of your system so here's why draining and clearing out the lymph nodes clears up your skin almost instantly so our lymphatic system the lymph nodes they are a part of our immune system right um, and they help carry a lot of waste a lot of nutrients between our body tissues and our blood and they also help filter out the fluid that's in our blood they help filter out any trap bacteria that might get in there they also help with viruses and foreign substances that what that might be like lingering around so when there's stagnation when there's blockages this slows down the filtration process um, which can then back up the toxins that we have in there so as you can see it kind of makes sense that when our lymphatic system isn't draining things out properly it ends up a lot on our skin especially in that chin and jawline area just because 
our lymph nodes are highly concentrated around this part of our body. So we want to make sure that we do techniques that are going to help minimize that buildup so that our skin can clear up. If you remember last year or maybe even earlier this year, um, I did a video on how this woman uh, who was getting a lot of breakouts because of the fluoride consumption, um, she wrote a book called The Hidden Cause of Acne. And in the book, she talks about how every time she went to get a lymphatic massage done, she kept noticing like her skin would clear up almost like instantly the next day and even more a few days after that. Uh, so it really does work for myself, for her, for a lot of people. So this is something I definitely suggest you to try. Um, with that being said, let's get into some techniques that you can do at home. The first technique I'm going to show you is my absolute favorite. I am going to be using a gasha tool like this one. I've used a lot of these tools in the past in other videos on my Instagram. So the first thing you want to do always when you start draining your lymph nodes is create a pathway where you can have all that fluid start draining out. Because the last thing you want is to start on your face and like have a build up situation going on. So I like to move this up and down very gently behind the ear, that neck area. Remember, this is where where our lymph nodes are highly concentrated and I'll also take it down in my chest area because this is where a lot of the lymph nodes are also located I probably do that for like a minute on my neck and behind my ear and then I move on to my face so for the face want to make sure we lift the skin up so you want to lift and then drag it towards the ear area exactly where we created that path so that everything just starts draining Going over active breakouts with this tool, the most important thing to remember is to be gentle because the last thing you want is to add more irritation to it. So, you know, you just want to be as gentle as possible. Don't add too much pressure, especially if you have cystic breakouts like around the chin and jawline area. Those tend to really hurt. So remember, just a light hand goes a long way. I would suggest to do this right before bed, like when you're getting ready to do your skincare routine. You may want to add a little bit of oil to help glide the tool better. If you're gentle enough, you can do it every day, but if you feel like that's too much, then I would suggest to do it every other day. Let's say if you don't have a gosh out tool or a face roller, you can also use your hands. All right, I use my hands all the time throughout the day. Like if I'm sitting by my desk and doing some work done, I'll just quickly do like a lymphatic drainage around my neck with my hands and it actually feels really good. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. You can cross your hands like this, you don't have to, but for me, I remember I saw a YouTube video where she was crossing her hands and I was like, oh, it is a little bit easier to do it with your hands crossed, but you don't have to. Again, the main thing you wanna do is to create that pathway, putting a little bit pressure stretching out the skin a little bit when it comes to your skin again just be gentle and remember up towards the back of your ear so we're dragging up and towards the back of the ear and again if you have any active breakouts that you're concerned about just you know be gentle with it use a very light hand um, you don't have to add too much pressure you're just kind of guiding the fluid to go where it needs to be and that is in the back of your ear where everything is being drained the same goes for your entire body so again going back to where your lymph nodes are located a lot of people claim that when you are draining your lymph nodes you want to push it towards your heart so that it can start draining there honestly i don't know how true that is but if you want to try that technique out then you can do that as well Exercising is also a great way to get that lymphatic system drained, to get all that fluid flowing. Um, dry brushing, also one of my favorites. Um, I do it before I take a shower. It also really helps remove the dead skin cells that you have. I show you how to do this in this video right here. Remember, consistency is key, okay? Thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see you in that video.